Hi, this is Michael from Lens of Kirlik, and in this video, you will learn how easy it is to use the C Archiver that you can download through the Play Store. So, open up your Play Store, and as you can see here, I have opened it ahead of time. Type in C Archiver. Here it is, the first one. And before we open it up, this app, let's uh, check this application's images here. So, we can do a lot of this. Okay. So, see, Archiver is more like uh, it's similar to WinRAR if you're on your computer, if you're using it as a Archiver. See Archiver is a program for archive management. It has a simple and functional interface. The app doesn't have permission to access the internet, so cannot transmit any information to other services or person. So let's go ahead and install it now. And this one will ensure that your Archiver lets you create the following uh, archive types: 7Z. Actually, there's a lot of things. And I'm just going to put this on this on the description below. So it's done. Let's open it. So it's asking us to allow the photos, media, and other files on your device. Allow it. Okay. So let's go to my photos. All right. So let's say, for example, this one here. It's a text document, and I don't. I want to uh, put this on a. I want to create a protective archive for this one. So, I just have to. This is a file. Okay, this is we're going to create a folder. And this one is to going to create an archive. So, first, let's select this one pictures and select the bottom below so it's going to be 7z you can change it you can uh, save it to other location you want to I'm not going to do that I'm just going to save it to this folder and archive format as you can see these are the archive formats available zip tar bzip to grid gzip XZ is a lot of the I'm more familiar with the 7Z and compression level no compression fastest normal so it's going to leave it normal and the encryption is going to be AES AES256 and password so you can put password if you want to it's really important and I highly suggest that you put a password so for this for the sake of this video I'm just going to make it simple. One, two, three, four, five. And split into volumes. This uh, this one is if your file is too big. So you have the option to split it into 100 MB, 50 or other size. You can customize it. And right after Right after it's complete, you can you have the option to delete the source file after compression. So I'm not going to do that. So once done, once done setting up, then hit OK, and there you go. It's done immediately. Since uh, this is only a 148 kilobytes, so if you're going to open it. As you can see, if you're going to double click it, it's going to view, extract here, extract, test, compress. If you are going to view it, so let's say that we want to extract this file, extract this file here, and let's say we are going to replace it. So hold and press. To have these options available, delete, cut, copy, compress. So let's delete it. And then this one, let's, let's extract it here. here. Uh, let me 
tell you that the archiver lets you create and decompress password protected archives, edit archives, add remove files from the archives, uh, create decompress multi archives, partial archive decompression, open compress file, extract split. So that's how easy it is to to archive by pride. So that's how you compress a file. It's so easy. To, to decompress it, to select the the compressed file and then extract here or extract to. That's how easy it is. And this one here is the search. Here it's going to select this. So these are the options. The same if you're going to hold and press it. Okay. And the three dots here at the top is where you can sort by name, type, size, date, and descending order. And also this one is where you can create a new folder or new archive. And you can also go to settings to to make changes on your Z archiver. So abort confirmation, this we're going to ask for confirmation for aborting a running process. So make sure to enable it. Override confirmation to override the existing file. It's going to ask permission as well. Delete after compression. So if you want to delete the source file, then enable this option. It will automatically delete the source file after the compression. And interactive paste. So I'm just I'm not going to make changes here. I I like the default one. So let me go back. To file list interface interface is where you can change it to your team as you can see flat classic color a folder you can even change the color of your folder so let's say green and floating action button so it is enabled by defaults and font size background so let's just say solid color background animation it's enabled fast scroll it's enabled as well so play along with the settings to uh, find your needs compression so the default compression is 7z you can change it and file lists so show file size is you have the option to enable or disable the these options you can have video thumbnails enabled if you want a preview of your video so next is root this is uh, if your phone is root if you are your root user you have you can enable this and plugins doesn't have many plugins So as you can see the folder the folder icon has changed, the color has changed to green. You can revert it back by going to settings. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So that's it for this video and hope that you have enjoyed watching this. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.